안녕하세요. Greetings, Master Course Online. Today, I'm going to talk about autogenous bone for GBR. I am Dr. Jingu Kim from Yonsei 9 Dental Office. Many different types of bone graft materials, including autogenous bone, allograft, xenograft, and synthetic bone, in various situations. And depending on the surgeon's preference, we would use and choose a different bone material. Today, we are going to talk about autogenous bone. Ideal bone materials should be meeting the conditions of new bone formation, anti-infection, no adverse effects, volume maintenance, clinical manageability, and good prices. There are many different types of materials. Autogenous bone material, particulated marrow and cancellous bone, or a block bone, and among allergenic material, DFDBA and FDBA, And another type is gamma irradiated bone material with antigens removed, also block bone type. And bovine bone, most widely used xenogenic material. Porcine bone, another xenogenic material. Alloplastic material, HA, beta TCP alone, and BCP, mixing those two above. Where do we take autogenous bone from our body? Bone used to be used to harvest the autogenous bone or rib bone, but these days it tends to be from the mouth, exostosis, from tuberosity, or ramus, which is uh, the most popular place uh, to harvest the bone, and if necessary, Synthesis from chin, we get the bone. Characteristics of autogenous bone. As the words indicate, it is the golden standard. Osteogenesis bone formation can be achieved with autogenous bone, with the graft material. That is the only graft material that has osteogenesis characteristics. So it has the advantage of good bone formation, but it has disadvantages. Donor site morbidity, it is resolved pretty fast. Actually, in the past, it was used pretty much, but now, me, and um, other authors, according to literature, autogenous bone is less and less used, but it has advantages. And sometimes we need to mix this bone with other bone materials. So we need to know about it. Block bone type, or it can be mixed with other bone substitutes, so like uh, alloplastic or xenograft. As you already know, there are three mechanisms of bone regeneration, osteoconduction and osteoinduction. In general, xenograft materials only have osteoconduction, and osteoinduction can be achieved from the allograft like BMP. Osteogenesis, where bone cells or marrow would be involved in generating bone, that is achieved only by autogenous bone. Of course, bone formation by living cells is achieved and fresh bone marrow is involved to form good bone in osteogenesis, but autogenous bone is fast resorbed, therefore we need to select bone graft materials depending on cases. Recently, autogenous bone is hardly used alone, even a block bone. We usually use allograft block bone, and particulated bone also, we use allograft instead of autogenous bone. In this case, autogenous bone was used not alone, but it was mixed with xenograft, as you can see here. In quadrant 3, in the posterior region, severe bone resorption was observed in this patient. When we place implant uh, the GBR and uh, when we need to create the vertical bone, xenograft 
is questionable. When we use a lot of bone material, we are not sure whether bone can be formed from the native bone to a distant area. So it is mixed with the autogenous bone. Right after raising a flap, as you can see, here in the premolar area, there is a big bone defect. As you can see on the CT, the bone is very narrow. Implants were placed in that area, the buccal area of the premolar. Uh, there is a defect and the ridge was narrow and we had to remove the teeth and GBR was performed. Bone scraper was used to scrape some bone from the protruded bone area and autogenous bone is mixed with the xenograft. This is the mixture. So on the buccal area, sufficient contour augmentation was performed with a lot of bone graft material considering resorption afterwards. And collagen membrane was used to cover the site and the wound need to be made immobile before suturing. A post of two weeks and it is pretty well healed. Post of three months and four months after the delivery of prosthesis, the contour is improved considerably. This is panorama after prosthesis delivery. The implants look stable and these are the bone tags used to fix the membrane to stabilize the bone material at the time of surgery. If you look at the post of CT, you can see the augmented volume which is maintained after the operation and the housing is pretty well formed. I believe if we use the xenograft alone at this site, the bone would not have been formed this well. It was mixed with autogenous bone, so the native bone and bone marrow is connected in a fast way. So that helped uh, the bone formation using autogenous bone. How do we harvest autogenous bone? Let me briefly go over it. Bone scraping. There are many types of bone scrapers on the market using a bone scraper. And there are some protruded parts, septal bone or others. And if you place implant rather deep, those need to be grounded off. So if you scrap those parts, you can get enough autogenous bone. And this can be mixed with the xenograft or alloplastic to maximize the bone graft effect. It is easy and fast. The second, we can use a chisel to cut bone where bone is protruded. In this patient, the opposing tooth was extruded and there was not enough space between the prosthesis of the implant to the opposing tooth, so the bone had to be cut off anyway. Using an ocean bind chisel, the bone is malleted and cut off in pieces. So it is being malleted. The patient would feel some pressure, but you couldn't get much more bone than scraping. And the cut bone can be milled. It would make the bone material similar to the bone harvested using scraping. A lot of volume can be achieved. This is a technique of harvesting autogenous bone a lot of volume of it clinically easily. Third, we need to use sawing to harvest bone. The saws are not that expensive, so we can use the saw connected to the chair and it can be moved forward and backward and block bone can be harvested from ramus using a saw. When we mix autogenous bone with xenograft material, the, is it really effective in formation of bone? This is a paper 
published in 2021 in COIR. It was written by Young Woo Song. As you can see, Beagle dogs were divided into two arms. In one arm, bias was used. In the other arm, autogenous bone and bias were mixed together. And GBR was performed, and the site was covered by membrane and fixed with the bone tags. And after sacrificing the animals, histology analysis was performed. There was no statistical difference between the arms, so mixing autogenous bone, is it effective clinically? If it is mixed, bone was formed in the bony housing, but outside of that housing, bone was not formed. So, a touch of the bone effect would be limited, indicated by this paper. A lot more information would be provided in offline class. Thank you for your attention.